Now this illustration deals with basic equations for calculating arc flash boundary distances. In the coordinates with the NFPA 70E Annex D D.2.1. Now the purpose of the change was to provide for the user of NFPA 70E simplified formulas for determining the arc flash boundary and distance or say distances using a fast and easy method. Now uh, this gives you a good estimate uh, of the distance uh, you know for a curable burn but uh, notice I'm just going to go through step one with you but before we do that we want to calculate the approach distance based upon the voltage at 4160 phase to phase and the difference in feet uh, here we want to look at that the available uh, short circuit energy MVA uh, develop a multiplier 100 divided by the impedance of the transformer and then the overcurrent device operates in 0.1 second uh, of course you know that's gonna uh, be approximately uh, six cycles so uh, for the system where the system is equipped with a 600 kva transformer what is the arc flash approach distances uh, for an impedance of 5.5 percent. Uh, so when that's converted, uh, naturally it's 0 0.055. Now, to determine the step one, and we're just going to go through the step one in accordance with the uh, uh, Annex D, D.2.1D, and D.2.1E. Now, step one, we're going to find our multiplier, so to speak. So we'll take 100 by the impedance of the transformer, 5.5 into 100. We get the multiplier of the reciprocal, that number of 18.2. Step two, to, get, uh, to determine the MVA, we take the KVA of the transformer, which is 600. Uh, divide that by 1,000 times your multiplier, uh, that we call it here, 18.2. We come up with an MVA rating of 10.9, rounded up to 11 uh, to, to obtain 11 MVA. Now we just have one more step in six. The calculated uh, distance for a curable burn is to take 53 uh, and the square root of MVA uh, times the clearing time and we would have uh, 53 times uh, 11 times uh, the clearing time 0.1 we come up with uh, DC uh, 7.6 and if we took a bolted fault such as you see in step 5 after we do the math which is more complicated it'd be 7.28 so you can see 7.6 is going to give you a good estimate of what the distance would be here for a curable uh, burn which would be no more than a second degree burn. So uh, in step six everything would have to be in the uh, square root to come up with this total so keep that in mind.